Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy here on the 10th day of Advent. And so today out of the Advent calendar, I got O'Shea's Robust Stout. Since they don't have a website, I will just check out what the back has to say. The combination of chocolate, crystal, and oat malt in this brew make in this brew make for a smooth stout, bursting with flavor. So maybe the flavor burst, but the the bottle definitely did. When I pulled the cap off, it came off almost too easy, and so I was actually worried that there wasn't going to be any sort of carbonation. But while doing the pour, I saw some bubbles. It's definitely not like a nitro infused stout, but it smelled pretty good. I could smell the like actually kind of that uh like that the coffee kind of roasted burnt smell that roast um uh, roast that stouts have. <laughs> I still haven't woken up from my nap. When I get off of work, I tend to have these uh, short fits of narcolepsy and sometimes it leaves me feeling sleepier than when I took the nap originally. Uh, I think that's the case here today. So yeah, I, but anyway, yeah, cap came off way too easy, but I, it smelled really good. I, I don't normally drink a lot of stouts more than anything. It's not, it's, it's the heaviness of the, the beer, not the, the flavor. I've had some stouts that aren't great I guess but I've had some that are really good I just don't drink a lot of them um occasionally I'll, I'll have like one if I go to the local brewery I might grab one mix it in with a few other drinks or get one stout in my uh my flight so um yeah without further ado let's get into it let's have a whiff here yeah you can smell the chocolate a little bit mostly it's that Roasted coffee smell. Not bad, though. Cheers. And the flavor is really about the same. I mean, sometimes beers smell a little different than what they taste, but um, this definitely isn't the case. Uh, roasted coffee. Wow, this is going to be a struggle to do this video today. I should not have taken a nap. I guess I should have uh, just pounded down the coal fee and, and stayed awake or something. I don't know. Man, cannot talk today. But let's try this again. The flavor is primarily roasted coffee. You got a little bit of chocolate in there. It's pretty smooth. It's not, it's not the heaviest stout that I've had. It's um really more like a porter, I would say. Um, and maybe that's just because most of the the stouts I've had have been either nitro infused or um, I don't know some sort of a uh, what am I trying to think of? Like the lactose sugars. I feel like maybe I've had one or two that had some lactose sugars in it, and so it had more of a creamy texture. Where it, yeah, yeah, I have had like some milk stouts but yeah this isn't one of those this is just uh i mean it's a heavy beer it's a, at least medium heavy but um it's not the thickest so um probably make for a, a little bit easier drinking this is probably more along the lines of what i'm looking for although we're getting into to winter obviously we're really close to the end of fall in in probably most of the world i know in in iowa even though we've been having some warm weather lately once we get to december people start thinking winter so i and i'm sure it's like that for most of the world or at least the very northern very southern parts but i digress i guess maybe not the southern they whatever their winter is i'm sure they look at the earlier, the later part of their fall. Yeah, I should just stop talking. Clearly, I should have taken that nap. I'll just drink more. That alcohol always wakes people up. Let's see. 
there's a little bit of something there in the aftertaste that I can't quite place. Maybe it's the oat malts. But I don't know. And I feel like I can almost taste the alcohol, but I don't, I have no idea how strong this beer is. So, but, um, yeah, you know, a lot of beers, you just don't taste it unless they start getting up there. Like with most beers, I don't notice it until like maybe 7%. Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it, it, there's so much, much flavor going into it. You don't even notice it. Like if it's an 8%, beer and then maybe um so what i guess what i'm saying is it I'm, i feel like there's a little bit of that in the aftertaste um a little bit of, of the alcohol flavor so i don't know maybe it's a stronger beer i honestly don't know they don't put that information on their bottles they put a little O'Shea's puts a little blurb on there and then their import information the government warning all the stuff they have to stuff about deposit refund but yeah otherwise there's not a lot of information which i guess is fine i kind of like to know the alcohol content uh, just because i i don't want to drink a lot of alcohol heavy beers i, I guess some people don't mind but i know when i drink i tend to probably drink more than i should and i have several but i don't want to drink several beers that are weighing in at 7%, 8%, 9%, what have you. I might have one of those and then prefer something like 5% or less. So, anywho, enough about me. The beer is good, so if you happen to be able to get robust stout, it's a pretty easy drinking stout, like I said. Not heavy in body, uh, not nitro-infused, so it doesn't have that heavy creamy taste, but it... Um, it still has the roasted coffee and chocolate flavors. So, if you find it, drink it. You might like it. And that's really all I got. So, I'm going to end this video before I, I mess it up anymore. And maybe go take another nap. Hell, I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. So... Thanks for joining me. If you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button below. And this is the Malta Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver, so use it wisely. Mm -hmm.